Hey guys, welcome back to another verse of the week. It's been a busy couple of weeks and thus I come to you from my car sitting at a rest stop enjoying a hot chocolate because here in Canada it has gotten cold. I think we went down to minus two in our area recently. I did have to chip ice off my windshield so you know winter is coming. Now the verse that we are going to apply to this week is 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. So if you have your Bible, I came from church so I have my Bible, you can open it to that verse and let's read together. It says, for God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. Honestly, self-discipline is probably one of my biggest struggles, <laughs> even more so than patience, surprisingly. Now, if you're asking, how do I apply this verse to my week? Let me tell you. If you are someone who's starting a new job, someone who's joining a new church, perhaps you're joining a new men's group or women's group or young adult group, maybe you have a new neighbor, maybe you have a new coworker, maybe you set a goal for yourself that is starting today, Monday, because let's be honest, most goals are postponed until Mondays. Every time that you feel fear, that you feel hesitation, perhaps you're feeling dislike for the new coworker that joined your team. Every time that you have an emotion that is not born of the spirit that God has given you, stop and remind yourself that God has in fact given you a spirit of courage, a spirit that acts out of love, a spirit that has a self-discipline to attain that goal that you set for yourself. So if you trip or fail one step, you don't quit on that goal. You get up and you keep on pushing. Choose to act out of your spirit and not out of your flesh. It is easier said than done, believe you me, but that doesn't mean that it's not attainable. I think sometimes as Christians, we feel that these kind of positive emotions or positive actions will come easy to us. And quite frankly, we're only human. So although yes, we have Holy Spirit to help us along, it does not suddenly mean that nothing is a struggle and that everything comes naturally and that we don't have to sometimes stop ourselves, check in with our attitude and choose to reroute. So whatever it is that you are facing this week, be reminded that you can do this, you will do this, and just keep moving on forward, choosing to act out of your spirit and not out of your flesh. And if you are chasing a goal or starting something new, let me know what it is on the comment below and let's continue the conversation down there. Be blessed, guys.